What's up guys, we're back with another video. In this video, it's gonna be the first part of the Rappahannock River Send. This series might be cut a bit short. There may only be two parts um, to this because the weather didn't come out the way I expected it to. It's actually supposed to rain the rest of my trip, but I'm probably gonna try to grind and fish in the rain to make it a three part series. But um, yeah, this is the first part. And in this uh, first part, we are targeting um, Spot and Croaker. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video and stay tuned. All right, guys, we're here right now, really early morning. We got bloodworm fish bites on each hook. We got a little croaker rig here. We're going to be targeting some croaker and spot today. I'm already seeing a lot of fish jumping out of the water here. Um, it's in the middle of high tide right now. Fish just jumped right there. So I kind of have to be quiet because there are like little houses behind me. So people might still be sleeping. So I got to be quiet. But we're going to try a cast right out here first oh my gosh that launched <laughs> that launched further than i expected we'll drop it right there right to the bottom try not to spook these fish we're gonna make a cast like right near this in between this and the dock there we go perfect cast we're gonna let that sink to the See if there's anything hanging out. This looks like a perfect place for some croaker to hang out. Maybe perch. I don't know. We're probably going to target perch another day. But this looks like a perfect place for these fish to hang out. So we're going to... And wait to hopefully get a fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Something... That was a big bite. That definitely, that was not a crab for sure. Something just, you might have just saw my rod tip bend. That was it. I mean, it wasn't a huge bite. Could have been a decent sized croaker probably, but nonetheless, it was still a bite. See if anything will come back for it. Alright, I was getting some bites, but not anything big there. So I just saw, I'm seeing a bunch of fish splash in between these boat slips. So we're just going to make a cast here. See if any of those fish will eat. It's like right in the middle of these four boat slips I casted, so. Try making a cast out here. I'm seeing a lot of splashes, like right right outside of the boat slips like right outside of the two pillars there we go good cast right there gonna see if there's anything hanging out there that's willing to eat this oh my god oh my gosh did you guys just see that looked like a small croaker might be being chased by something maybe a drum trout i don't know I'm also seeing lots of fish splashing like out that way. All right, there we go. That's a perfect cast, right where is that? Where right where I'm seeing stuff jumping. So we're gonna rest this rod right here, and hopefully, in teeth, a strike from one of these whatever's feeding here. I don't even know. Oh my god, I'm getting a bit. I accidentally just. There we go. Looks like a small spot. Pinfish? Nope, small croaker. Let's go, boys. On the top hook right there, right on the... Or is that a spot? I think that might be a spot. Nonetheless, first fish of the day. Perfect hook set right in the bottom of the mouth. Small little fish to start off the day. Let's get a quick picture and then get him back in the water. All right, last little look at this guy. Let's get him back in the water. Thanks for biting, bud. There you go. On the... I actually, I actually didn't think this hook would catch a fish because it's so big. But the hook, the hook was so rusted at the top that it just broke off. So I have to tie on a new one. So this is a new one. Let's go. First cast right in that area. 
I guess that's what's feeding on the top, because, I mean, I'm assuming that's what was feeding on the top. That was a strong hit, too. Like, I accidentally, um, I was, like, looking over here at the bait fish swimming around, and then, like, I accidentally, like, jumped, and then I saw my rod tip move, and I was like, I thought that was just from me jumping on the dock, but then I stopped jumping, then saw it move again, and then that's when I realized it was a fish. All right, so we went back for it. Oh my gosh, I'm getting hit again. Oh my gosh, I was getting hit again by something. All right, we're gonna set this back down. Just recast it in the same spot. They're all biting on the top one, surprisingly. That's a little too far out, but we'll see if something will still eat it. Seems like they're all hanging out in that general area where I'm casting, so I got two bites in a row. So, I'm gonna leave it there. Oh, what the heck? I'm telling you, patience is key in the salt water, but in the end, it usually pays off. Usually catch a fish, a couple fish, be good for the day. This is like the best thing I've seen in a while. We got the rod sitting right there. I'm getting a bunch of hits, but oh my gosh, that was dope. Bit spot, just freaking, that was right in front of my bait. Maybe it'll eat, but. This isn't even the main river. This is just like, it's called, it's called like, it's, they call it a creek type thing. Like the river's over there. This isn't even the main river. So all the fish like come into this little channel area here. This isn't even the main river, but there's still, you can still get fish in here, which is pretty cool. So I just walked away and I, I just saw my rod tip move. Oh, there he is again. He's nipping at it. Oh, he just had it. He's staying on there. He's not leaving. Even though he felt the hook, he's still on there. Come on. Oh, I think he has it and he's running. No, he was running with it. I just ruined my chance. Oh my gosh. He was running with it. Oh, dang, he went for both the fish bites. He freaking cleaned that one off, the top one. We're going to make a cast back in the areas over here. There you go. That's like the exact spot where I caught the spot the first time. Leave it right there. And see if it couldn't tease a strike. In this spot, like, I'm getting... Oh, there's a bite. Oh my god. See? I'm getting bites like every time. Oh, it's just once they feel that hook point, they usually go away. Yep, now that one felt the hook point because he just stopped biting after that one. There it is again. This might be the same fish that keeps just like playing with, playing with me. Because every cast in the same spot, I'm getting a hit. Guess we got a new fish bite on there. Gonna set back out where we were getting bites. This one's picking up, so it might make this current a little bit stronger. There we go. There's a fish, finally. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's a, that's a decent one. Oh, no it isn't. <laughs> I mean, a little bigger. little bigger spot on the fresh fish bite oh I just felt it's croaking a little bit he just slipped out of my hand I was trying to as I was trying to get a picture those things are slippery and stinky slipped out of my hand as I was trying to get a pick but he's released
Oh my gosh, dude. I had something. That thing pulled my rod in the water. Almost. Oh my gosh, dude. Right, I got here right as my rod was like about to fall. I'm so freaking two times today. I'm so lucky. I got here right as my rod was about to fall. I, like I saw my line moving. Thought it was just a win, but saw like my rod start to move and I was like, oh shoot. Then I ran over. Then I got here just in time right as my rod was about to fall. Oh my gosh. No, that was a big fish. That was a big fish. No. I had him too. That, that was first cast, like right in that area. Oh my gosh. I just saw my rod tip go. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. First cast with this croaker rod. No, you guys can't see shiz right now, but... High tide right now. We have the blood run fish bites on. The heck, I have a fish. I can't see. Little tiny spot. Little baby spot. There he goes. I was just casting over here. Right here with the little fish bites. I was casting behind here and I was just like jigging it. Like I felt a strike the second I started jigging. So I kept jigging it and then you ate it while I was jigging it. So that was interesting. I might have another fish, what the heck? All right, well this, I didn't even, he ate it like while I was jigging it up. That will be another spot. Let's get, let me get the hook out of this guy then I'll show you him. Actually, no, that might be a perch. Oh, yes, a white perch. Pretty sure this is a white perch right here. Second species of the day. Let's get that release on him. Last little look on him. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoyed that little tiny night fishing session at the end. Uh, we only managed to get two fish, but we did catch that new species, which is the white perch. It's either a white perch or American silver perch. I'm not really sure. They kind of look the same. So comment down below if you know like exactly what that is. So yeah, see you in the next video. Peace.